This was one of the strongest lineups in baseball just three years ago. Today, over half of them aren't even on a roster anymore. The 2021 White Sox were World Series contenders, won over 90 games and their division. This was their lineup going into the year. Jose Abreu was MVP of the league in 2020. He's been so bad this year, he got sent to the minors in his 40s, then got released. Tim Anderson was an all-star in 2021. He just got released. Yerman Mercedes was a breakout star who made headlines in 2021. Now he's playing in Mexico. Adam Eaton retired. Juan Mancata was the number one prospect in baseball at one point. He's played 11 games this season. Yasmani Grandal is a part-time catcher in Pittsburgh, batting 182 and then has a terrible 39 WRC+. Plus. That's the worst on the Pirates. Eloy Jimenez won a silver slugger on the White Sox. He's been injured ever since, is still in Chicago, but has a negative 0.3 war. Andrew Vaughn is still in Chicago, but has a negative 0.1 war. Nick Madrigal got traded, currently has a negative 0.7 war and has been sent down to the minors. Luis Robert Jr. is the only player who is still performing well, but he's only played 37 games this season because of injuries. Even their manager, Tony La Russa, was caught sleeping in the dugout and has since retired. This lineup, who won the division just three years ago, has combined for only 1.4 war. The current White Sox are rebuilding. Their lineup is considered the worst in baseball. They've been worth negative 4.7 war are on pace to lose over 100 games. But is the 2024 lineup actually better than the 2021 lineup is today?